No. No. No! Let me just get something out of the way first. I do not hate Sharon Miller, nor do I really hate seasons 13 to 16. Alright, we good? Let's do this! In 2008, it was revealed that Thomas the Tank Engine would be going through an immense change, and one of those changes was the swap from live action to CGI. At the time, I would have been around 8 years old, so I didn't really care for it. I, I knew the show would continue, and that didn't really matter what shape or form that was in. I can visually remember watching Hero of the Rails for the first time, and as a 9 year old, because it came around in 2009, I was really excited for it. It was exciting, it was thrilling, it, was, it wasn't just static. The camera moved, and the engine's mouths moved, and the eyes moved, it was different. And Hero of the Rails brought our favourite producer, writer, and director, Sharon Miller. Obvious sarcasm is obvious. With her in charge, I would say the show became simplified, and I mean oversimplified, like way more than we had seen between season 8 to 12. And yes, I know this was probably the decision from Hit, but still, characters lost that kind of depth, they started to have one defining trait, and that was it. They basically became bland and one-dimensional. However, that isn't to say I didn't like season 13, in fact, I kinda still do like season 13 and do sometimes go and watch some of the episodes. Some of my favourites from the season would include Splish Splash Splosh, Tickled Pink, Snow Tracks and The Early Bird. However, after season 13, it just started going all out of control. It was proven that the three strike formula worked, so what did they decide to do? They stuck with it. But after season 13 came Misty Island Rescue. That's right, that's right, <laughs> that's right, that's right. I'm sorry, I just couldn't get past the first four. How does a character only say these two words? 16 times in 60 minutes. 16? Does it never end? It just blows my mind what they were thinking. Did they think he'd be funny? No, he's just irritating and annoying and should not exist. As well as introducing Mr. They thought it'd be great to bring in two twins who acted just like Bill and Ben but were ten times more annoying and who now I just want to punch in their stupid face and send them back to where they came from to their stupid little island with Thomas's stupid little rhymes in the stupid Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Ugh. But Misty Island Rescue can be a topic for its own video, possibly if I really want to put myself through that. As I previously mentioned, rhymes. I will not be scared. I will find a way to puff home to my friends by the end of the day. I will not be scared. I will find a way to puff home to my friends by the end of the day. I make good decisions. That's what I was told. I will not be fearful. I'll be brave and bold. The Miller era is known for having those stupid rhymes that just went on and on and on and on. I couldn't stand them anymore, they were so annoying, and I don't care if they was attract children, it was probably the one of the worst parts of the whole era. Okay, now that I've calmed down, it's time to think things logically. It's pretty clear to see how kids would find this movie appealing. I mean, sure the rhymes may be annoying to us, but to them, they'd be pretty catchy, like something they could remember and go back on when they're trying to think of the film. And this special in particular was very unique as it sent Thomas somewhere completely different, somewhere that we'd never seen before. It was a brand new place, he was all alone, and he only had these three engines, these three strange engines, that could help him. 
Plus the fact that they used Whiff was pretty cool, I mean he was a pretty underused character to that point, so seeing him again having a pretty major role in the special was nice. Continuing on from Misty Island Rescue, we got Season 14, which put Bash Dash and Ferdinand into a few episodes that I really could not care for. And then, after Season 14 came Day of the Diesels. I don't personally find Day of the Diesels that bad, but I mean, it's not good by any means necessary. I mean, cool diesel tens in it, but they have a really stupid plot of take over the steamworks because we're not loved or something. I mean, it's, it's just kind of dumb, and Percy thinks Thomas can't have more than one friend than him? Like, what? There are seven of you in the shed, Percy. Thomas is bound to be friends with more than one of you. And we got Belle and Flynn, but... I really couldn't care less for them, they're okay. Except for the whole premise of Belle, it's kinda dumb, like, why would she have water cannons on her boiler? Isn't that using water so that she can move? In fact, that happened at the start of the episode, she ran out of water. <sighs> when can the fire brigade come back? They just made sense. Moving on from Day of the Diesels, we get Season 15, and there isn't really much that I can say about 15 that I haven't said about 14. It is just as bad, if not worse, and we have horrible episodes like Fiery Flynn that can just not be beaten. I mean, his firebox was on fire. His firebox was on fire? It's in the name. I'm sure even a child could have noticed that. Also, Season 15 utilised Den and Dart, while keeping Paxton and Norman as background characters, so I guess that's a sign that they're using them? It was about this time that I lost interest in the show and completely stopped watching it altogether. It was most likely a mix of the bad writing and just me growing up and not having the same childlike affinity for it that I had way back when. Moving on from season 15, we got Blue Mountain Mystery. And I didn't watch this when it came out, I watched it later, when I was a little bit older, because I didn't realise it had come out in the first place, and I really, really like it. It is my favourite out of all of the Miller specials for, well, obvious reasons that the narrow gauge engines finally came back and their renders were fantastic. They looked absolutely amazing, absolutely realistic. Blue Mountain Mystery had an amazing story. It was, it was heartfelt seeing Thomas and Luke bond just to have that bond crushed in a matter of moments by Diesel. Some may call it overrated, but I don't care. I like it for what it is. It's heartfelt and heartwarming, and it's just overall, it's just nice. Plus, Nitrogen's animation in this special was really, really good. The engines looked realistic, the environment looked really nice, and it was just overall really crisp. Not to mention the song, Blue Mountain Mystery. It's catchy, and again, it's just nice. Everything about this special is nice. And even though it does have some of that Miller era rhyming, or some of that basic plot, basic storyline, it's good to see characters like Victor get fleshed out. The fact that they gave him an intricate backstory that weaved itself into the part of the special tying in with Luke, it, I mean, like, it's just really good. And I'm not sure if all of this is due to Andrew Brenner being the script editor for the special, but, I mean, I'm, you gotta give Sharon Miller some credit here. I can't hate on her for this whole episode. Lastly, we have season 16, which is the best of the Miller era. But, I mean, it's not great, but I mean, it's better than everything else. Favourites of the season would include Express coming through, Bust My Buffers, Percy and the Calliope, Thomas and the Sounds of Sodor, and Don't Bother Victor. And with that, we've reached the end. Sharon Miller is gone, Nitrogen's gone, both being replaced by Andrew Brenner and Art Productions. And I will have to say, they picked up the pieces that were left of the franchise. However, Sharon and Nitrogen left on a high note, leaving the series with their best foot forward, and overall, I'm grateful for that. 
even though this, they put the series through their ups and their downs, overall, it's what they've done. I think they have influenced Thomas the most in current years. Thank you for listening to me talk about a topic that's been spoken about way too much over these past few years. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to check out more.